nice little beach area, Bridport, little coastal village. Nice caravan park over here, you can pitch a tent or caravan. Plenty of accommodation in Bridport. Nice protected little rivulet here to get out. Little gulch. And beautiful beaches heading right out to the northeast tip. Out towards Gladstone. Tomahawk. More beautiful beaches out there. Good camping, good fishing. Nice spot, Bridport. More coming? Yeah, 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 yeah. 15 or so. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Really, is it? Oh, shit, is it? Yeah. What are you, buddy, doing a tour or something? Yeah. 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 Oh, right, eh? Take the tracks. Nice and fresh, yep. mate. Yeah, three-day tour. Go to the shop. Sorry? Go to the shop. Nah, I washed the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How we doing, fellas? Nice. So what I'm going to do today, there's a coastal track runs from Bridport right the way through to Bellingham. See here where we are, go out onto the coast, along through some sand, beach, up over some sand dunes, camping areas and stuff like that. And you can make your way through to Bellingham and then away you go. Good little run. Bit of sun, have a bit of fun in the sand, and also want to go out and have a look at the uh, the camping spots too. See if we can get in there, what they look like, whether they're any good. Now, apparently, there's going to be a few other bikes coming. Not sure if they're all coming or broke down. Anyway, we'll have to keep our eyes out for them ones on the big DRZ. Looks good, beautiful day, so can't wait.
first part anyway. Very nice, beautiful beach. So I make our way around the end out here. There's a campground out here with some big dunes. We're going to see what we can find. You could come out here, you could camp here somewhere. All the drives green out here digging it up a bit, but bit of area. Could camp if you wanted to. Sandy. up on top of the dunes up here got the farmland out over the back dairy farming country and round of the bay not a bad way to spend the day
another beach here. Wind's picking up a bit now. Anyway, start marking away along the beach towards Bellingham. The track doesn't take that long. It's only if you muck around on the dunes and whatever else. Looks like it's pretty much the end of the beach section. We've just got a track up here into Bellingham and then back onto the road. So pretty much that's the track. Bellingham to Bridport, Bridport to Bellingham, whichever way you want to go. A lot of people come from up north towards Devonport, Launceston. They come down this way and they come Bellingham through to Bridport, have a feed, a few beers, stay the night. Then they make their way either through the bush or down the road on to uh, St Helens or down further down to the North Sea, down the tip. Some great riding down here. Anyway, we'll keep going a bit further and see what we find. Hope we don't run into any other oncoming cars or bikes.
So that's it folks. Um, as I said, that's the track from Bridport to Bellingham, or Bellingham to Bridport. It's been good on a day like today, not too windy, nice and warm, and there wasn't a lot of other traffic. We come across all of those bikes at the start of it, so I was pretty fortunate that we didn't meet them on the track. One poor bugger, he's hurt himself, so hopefully he's okay and gets to continue with the rest of the group or the tour that they're on. Nothing worse than missing out on a good bit of action when you've paid money and travelled afar. Anyway, that's the track. If you want to know any information, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. There's plenty more of this sort of riding to be done. I can soon video a lot more. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.